Good evening, heavy metal heads. Um, here we are, another viewers' comments thing going down. Um, let's straighten this business up. My Harlequins, I always keep that there. Remember, I spoke about motivation in the last uh, video. Got Harlequins army at 2000 points, all base coated, it's a personal army. Um, and I keep that there because that always reminds me that it's going to happen. You know, even if I might not be in the mood, or I might be too busy, or I might be recovering from whatever. Point is, is there that is inspiration will take me. I'll grab the army, smash it out, and uh, I'll share it out with you guys. Anyway, moving on. Um, one of the other comments was, "What equipment do I really not like to do without uh, when I'm painting?" Essentially, that that was a question. All right, and these things are. Brushes, different types of brushes. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll go more detail into brushes uh, in another thing. However, they break down as something big and stabby. All right, big and stabby, always good. Next is something small and detail -y. always good. Next is something medium sized and pointy. And that's pretty much it. Now, yeah, I've got other brushes that I use, but that, that's pretty much it. A uh, majority of the, the work I do is, is with this. Now, I've got a few weapons of choice, which are all pretty much the same thing, I think. Um, a few brands of choice, that is. They're all pretty much the same thing. Um, however, my favorite, um, bang for buck, blah, 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 is the Element Games character and regimen brushes. That's what I like. Um, that's the big, that's the small. Um, they've both got great points, there you go, but um, as far as going into detail with brushes, um, I'll, I'll save that because there's a, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of chat around, actually, let's, let's go for a, let's go for a, let's go for another expression from me, um, there's a lot of chat around about what works for me. And I've put a lot of thought into this, and I don't believe that term should even exist. Oh, that doesn't work for me. Oh, this doesn't work for me. No, no, no. Um, I've, I've decided. I've put a lot of thought into it. It's not what doesn't work for you. It's what you failed to make work for you. Now, that's an interesting thing. Now, what I've found a lot of people do is they'll put a few minutes into deciding this, that, or the other, um, fail to develop the skill to use such a thing, whether it be a technique, brush, a bit of equipment, and then say, that thing does not work for me. That doesn't work for me, <laughs> you know? Because, I mean, I, I'm a sucker for skills. I like to learn, I like to develop myself, and generally I don't like to take the easy path, all right? Um, I don't like crutches, I don't like... Uh, Cutting corners, shortcuts. Now there's another there's another term. If it's direct and it gets you there, then it ain't a shortcut. It's efficient. So there you go. Um anyway, yeah, enough rambling. Develop yourself. Don't start looking at what you've what doesn't work for you. It's a paintbrush. It's not an employee. Do you know what I mean? And even then, you know, the manager's gotta take responsibility. So yeah, brushes. Um, there you go. Now, other, other brands I like, I like the Artificial Brushes, I think they're great. I like Winsor Newton Series 7s, I think they're great. You know, they're all pretty much the same brush for me. Um, Element Games is just up the road and it's pretty good bang for your buck and they just work, so it's easy peasy. Right, next on the list. Water. Just water. No gimmicks, no flow improver, no, nothing. Water. Water. Oh, water doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. You already know my opinion on, on that. Yeah. Um, water. Next. These four paints. Now, obviously, there's, there's other colours, but essentially what they are is Space Wolves Grey. And it's more than just about the colour, consistencies, properties, Space Wolf Grey, great. 
army painter, gun metal. Same reasons. Army painter, matte black. Same reasons. <laughs> skull white. It's not skull white, sorry. Matte white, army painter. You know, that if if I if I go anywhere, do anything, these things come with me. Um last but most certainly not least, that's why I've saved it for last. A dry, not wet, based on fact, not opinion. A dry palette. A dry palette helps you develop your skills and knowledge in consistency does not help you avoid them. Now, I could do a full, like, I'm, I'm probably gonna twist a few heads by, by saying what I've just said, but I deliberately don't use a wet palette. You know, I've been painting for a very long time, way over 25 years, which is grim, over that. And I've used a wet palette for a long time, and it's a crutch. It's a crutch. But I'll, I'll do a fuller video on that. Um, some of my students will know exactly why, you know, but I don't want you students to pipe up, actually. What I want you guys who haven't been my students and haven't had the, the, the old rigmarole about um, why I only use water, why I use a dry palette, not a wet palette, I want you to have a think about why, you know, what are the facts? Why do I choose to do that? Now, I'll give you one reason. I personally, like to develop my skills over buying product. Now, if your objective in this hobby is to develop skills, develop skills, don't buy product. Yes, you need a brush. Yes, you need a palette. Yes, you need water. Yes, you need model. Different minimums, yeah? So let's not fart around playing with words, yeah? Three minimums. All right. Um, have a think about it. Think about it. What do you sacrifice? As a matter of fact, not opinion. What do you gain when it comes to using or not using certain things? All right. So, I like to develop my skills, not my product. There's the first thing. Next thing, if your objective isn't necessarily to get skills, your objective is just to get results, then well, you could take it all the way to one extreme, hire a painter, yeah? Well done you, right? Or you could buy a bunch of products that just get you there, you know, like for example, oh wow, your, your blends are amazing. Oh yeah, yeah, cheers, I used an airbrush. Oh, do you see what I mean? You know, well, well done you used an airbrush, but can you do it with a paintbrush? You know, and that's always my aspiration. You know, I aspire to develop my skills. So all the equipment I, I use um, is, is, is based on very much property as opposed to opinion. It's based very much on me developing myself in, as a skill set, whether it be developing the way my eye sees things, whether it be large things, small things, different shades of colour, different tones of colour, blah, 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 colour facts, not colour theories don't care for that sort of business doesn't mean I don't use it it means I deal in facts not likes and dislikes all right I'll give you an example of that oh red is the complementary color some say contrasting complementary color on the uh, color wheel so you know you should always use reds and greens here but red and green should never be seen except on a field we go into all a big discussion about what colors people like with other colors but actually you go out in real life and mother nature isn't necessarily using it and like it directly generally you'll find advertisers using it you know but anyway that's we can go into detail and argue about that i'm sure people will have their opinions but you know it's just an opinion you know i, I deal when I, especially when i teach I deal very much in fact where where i can so there you go dry palette water big stabby brush a little pointy brush, a medium-sized pointy brush. 
I don't use miniature series brushes. All right, they're like the ones that are slightly more pointy. I like to use a standard Series 7 paintbrush. Um, what did I miss? Oh, these guys here. I'm going paint a black, white, gunmetal, Space Wolf Grey. If I can get any pots of that anywhere, I will get my hands on it. Space Wolf Grey. Right, so there you go. Um, keep your questions coming because I actually rather like them. Um, I will go into more detail about these things because um, well, you guys need to know. It's as simple as that. Um, I always like to put my money where my mouth is. Um, and that's all coming. Now, if you want to come and see me for some painting lessons, please do. Um, contact me at tuition at golempaintstudio.co.uk. I'll shove a link below. You shove comments below. Not in my crotch or in my brew. I mean in the comment section below this video on YouTube. Over and out. Oh! No, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. In the next video, I was going to have another crazy rant about a dry wet palette thing, but you can wait for that. See you in a bit.